Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be going through some of the steps or features that you can apply in SAP BDL with Kohana for improving the performance. So for this content today, we have some of the points that I'll be discussing about. Those are add user partitioning, physical and logical partitioning, adding input parameter in HANA views, replace composite provider union by HANA unions in top, navigation attribute, Purge historical master data and activate request in ADSO or activate ADSO with zero elimination. Let's talk about all these points one by one so that you can have a clarity what uh, I am discussing about. So first one is this logical, uh, physical and logical partitioning. So in this uh, left side picture, you see the the setting tab for one ADSO. And suppose your ADSO is having large number of records and as per SAP, if your ADSO is having more than 2 billion records, then you should uh, do the partitioning based on some characteristics, based on the uh, calendar day or calendar week, whatever the time characteristics you have, you can do the partitioning there. And obviously there are two types of partitioning are there. One is uh, this, uh, uh, manual partitioning and also this dynamic partitioning and coming to this next one and why why you do this partitioning because when you run the query on based on this ADSO, so uh, if your query is filled then this particular time range will be hit uh, if your query is running so it's not like the whole data set will be read now coming to this logical partitioning where I will be talking about the semantic grouping. So here what we are doing actually, we are just distributing uh, the data set into multiple region. Suppose you are having a, uh, a data uh, where your ADSOs are distributed in multiple regions, then you can actually group together and you can create a semantic grouping and that now you can create the query based on that semantic group in this way your query performance will be faster because uh, you not as a user you will not read the data uh, for all region you will read data for one particular region so that you don't need to access all the providers down there so in this way if you divide your data uh, it can be faster as well now coming to this uh, next one uh, adding input parameter so we add input parameter in the calculation view so why we add input parameter that's the question here because when you are uh, as per SAP data must be filtered as easily as possible using input parameter in calculation view so let me just go back one more time yes so here what we are doing that so that when you are uh, you are reading the data from the query so that particular filter variable will be passed into the lower part of your query so in the, your calculation view no need to read for whole uh, year data suppose you are giving a carrier or cal day function in the variable so if you put a cal day so that particular cal day will be hit into your query uh, in the ADSO not like all the day will be then otherwise all the day will be you know coming into the output and then you're uh, keeping the filter again in the query so it's important that you keep the input parameter in the calculation view so that your query runtime now coming to this uh, point number three replace composite provider unions by hana unions in top so you can see the picture in the screen like here the model is like you have uh, multiple projection then you are keeping all the projection in one union then you are keeping an aggregation then semantic so this model is preferable over this model so here in this uh, in this slide if you see this right hand side we have a model suppose it is a your one composite providers and in the base it is connected with a uh, lot of other uh, ADSO or composite provider. So this calculation view, uh, this composite provider can be transformed into like this. So where you have all these uh, sub nodes 
and merged with one union. The benefit is here that you can apply the input parameter in calculation view. You cannot apply input parameter in composite provider directly like this, but here you have a, uh, the option you can apply the input parameter and so that you can utilize the benefit uh, from the query. That's the way how uh, we can use the input parameter in this model. Now coming to this next one, the navigational attribute. Sometimes it is seen that you know this is a, a picture from a composite provider and in the output where a lot of attributes, navigation attributes are used, and then in that cases your query on time can be slow. And in order to make it faster, what uh, can be done that we will map all the navigation attribute to their own info object. In order to do that, what we have to do that first we will create one uh, one calculation view uh, based on this old composite provider. Suppose this composite provider, then we will make again one composite provider based on that view we have created, and then in the target we will just map all this navigation attribute with to their own uh, info objects. In this way, it is seen that this uh, query runtime for those navigation attribute can be faster. Now coming to this uh, this slide and the last slide, purge historical master data, and it is seen that you know master data is very critical in BW or any system. Uh, that master data is used for reporting, also used for you know the joining in the lookup in the with transactional data. And if you see that your master data is very large and you don't need a lot of master data in the system. And then you can actually delete those so that your lookup will be faster as well as your uh, the, the query runtime will be faster as well. Now come to the last one, activate request in ADSO or activate ADSO zero elimination. So it is seen that uh, those are, if you don't activate the ADSO and if you just keep on reading from the ADSO and if you're loading it, then it is seen that you know when you are trying to uh, because in the activation you know what happens in the system it removes it actually compresses the data so that your all the data request has been compressed into one in that case your uh, data reporting and as well as the data loading will be faster similar to that we have another feature uh, activation with zero elimination in those ideas so it has this option zero elimination if you do that all the key figures having zero in the line item so will be deleted so in this way also your reporting and data loading will be faster i believe i have covered some of the features and i also think that we do have more uh, in the performance optimization and we can cover in the coming slides and uh, thank you for watching and if you have any comment you want to know more about it or if you have any suggestion or doubt, please comment below and I will reply to those comments. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.